The Transco Williams Company is preparing to construct a giant gas pipeline to carry gas from the Marcellus Shale into Brooklyn and Queens. The proposed pipeline will pass through Reese Park in Queens into the Jamaica Bay Wildlife Refuge at Floyd Bennett Field, crossing wetlands and bird and wildlife sanctuaries in the National Park. The plans also include the construction of two large gas metering stations within the historic airplane hangars in Floyd Bennett Field and adjacent to two acres of community gardens. The pipeline will bring gas obtained through fracking, a drilling process known to contaminate drinking water with dangerous chemicals and contribute to climate change from the release of methane gas into the atmosphere. While natural gas has been marketed as a clean alternative to coal, vented natural gas, composed primarily of methane and the kind to be delivered into New York City, is between 70 and 100 times as powerful a greenhouse gas as carbon dioxide. In addition, in 2009, state officials and geologists made the discovery that wastewater waste and gas originating from the Marcellus Shale is 70 to 100 times more radioactive than other sources of natural gas. Climate Action, a committee of the group Brooklyn for Peace, has started to call attention to this issue. Since the pipeline will pass through a national park, the NYC Natural Gas Supply Enhancement Act must first be approved by Congress in order for Transco Williams to proceed with the project. In related news, on Sunday, July 8th, Earth First, together with about 100 activists from across the United States, successfully shut down a hydraulic fracturing site temporarily in the Pennsylvania Moshannon State Forest. The activists constructed barricades on the road leading to the mining site and escorted workers out before being raided by police with bulldozers that came to clear away the barricades. The action marked the first time protesters have managed to shut down a hydrofracking site in the U.S. The fight against fracking has been fought here in Brooklyn by Gary Goff of Brooklyn for Peace Climate Action Committee. We spoke with him at his home last week. Let's watch the video. I think the environmental movement at this stage, and it is bloody important that we do this, has to move into the civil rights stage. Uh, we have to say now. It has to stop now. Uh, and I grew up in the South during the civil rights period, so I, I'm old enough that I know some of what I'm talking about. I had confrontations with the Klan as a teenager. It's becoming, it's, it's very clear after the conference in Rio, the UN conference in Rio uh, last, last month, um, that the governments are not going to do anything. They're washing their hands of the whole thing. You know, um, later, later, later. And in fact, this has been the case for 20 years now, since the first Rio conference. My wife was at the first Rio conference, uh, the Earth Summit. And what's been consistent in all the international gatherings around the environment is all, all the scientists say, this is happening, and then the government say, yes, we have to deal with it, we'll do it later. And they've been saying that for 20 years, and the situation's been getting worse and worse and worse. And yes, we have to fight against uh, the pipeline in uh, the Rockaways. Yes, we have to fight against the tar sands. But we also have to understand there's a bigger context in which that fight is taking place. And in that sense, you know, the same as um, the sit-ins, the freedom rides and so forth, yes, you have the individual issue that you're talking about, but you clearly understand that there's a bigger context in which this is taking place. You're talking about quality of life for all of human beings. You're talking about life, frankly, in terms of the environmental uh, stuff, because we will die. 